Hi, I'm Jen with Making the Photo. Midjourney has just released a new version of their AI text to image generator. Version 4 is a completely new build trained on Midjourney's AI supercluster. The team has been working on this version for nearly nine months and it will blow your mind. In this video, we'll look at what version 4 will do and how you can create more amazing images than ever before. If you are new to Midjourney, start with this video, starting your Midjourney. The default is currently version 3. In this video, I will show you how to access version 4. I'm going to date stamp this episode. Midjourney AI is testing version 4 and it will continue to change. Eventually, version 4 will become the default version in Midjourney. But right now, you need to specify version 4, so I'll show you how to do this. I'll show you some current features of version 4, and you'll see head-to-head -head comparisons showing how version 4 has evolved beyond version 3. I'll show you some limitations of the current V4 model, but the Midjourney team is updating V4, so these probably won't be limitations for long. I'll end with my final thoughts on version 4 as it now stands. The Midjourney team turned on V4 for testing at the beginning of November 2022. For right now, version 3 is the default. You have to turn on V4 in your prompt. To turn on V4, type dash dash V4 after your prompt. Or select V4 from your settings. Even after V4 becomes a standard, you can choose to work in V3 if you prefer. If you decide you like the look of V4 better and want to use it all the time, add a custom suffix. Type slash prefer suffix and then dash dash V4. The team at Midjourney says that version 4 has vastly more knowledge of creatures, places, and much, much more. The AI looks at your prompt words much more carefully now. I tried V4 with some of my prompts that I had difficulty with in the past. Let's see what happened. In my video on multi-prompting, I prompted for a horse. Version 3 had all sorts of problems. Don't get me wrong, I like the surreal artistic horse at times, but it wasn't a real horse. Version 4 took my red horse prompt and made me a real red horse with much more realistic features. That's the first thing you'll notice about V4. The images are much more realistic. Knowledge of styles and artists has also improved. One of my favorite street photographers is the Chinese photographer Fan Ho. Version 3 was okay, but version 4 really nails his photographic style. Midjourney has a new anime text to image editor called Ninja Journey. I'll talk more about this in an upcoming video. But styles like anime have also improved in V4. Midjourney version 4 is much better at getting small details right. Sometimes version 3 seems to sort of know what something was, but not quite. V3 sort of knew that a penny farthing is a type of bicycle, but version 4 gets it right. Many of the problems with animals and musical instruments seem to be a thing of the past. Version 4 is much better at creating this violin. Human hands are still a problem, but the AI is making progress. At least one out of the four hands have the correct number of fingers. The Midjourney team says version 4 handles more complex prompting with multiple levels of detail. I'm not certain how much complex prompting I really do, but I am blown away by the realistic detail. This Saigon street scene isn't bad in V3, but it becomes much more real in V4. There's an aesthetic beauty to version 3 images, but this is as close as I can get to this dragonfly, even when I ask for a macro shot. Version 4 lets me zoom right in for the macro. Version 4 does seem to lose a bit of the beauty and the aesthetic look that I like in version 3. I tried remixing back to version 3 with limited success. I'll have to play with version 3 plus version 4 a little bit more. One of the challenging things in version 3 is what they call the three basket problem. Midjourney has a problem separating things into containers. I was sort of able to do it in version 3, but it was much easier to do in version 4. They accepted, decided I didn't really mean eggs. Raspberries were better. Midjourney version 4 is better with multi-object and multi-character scenes. Multi-prompts didn't work in Test and Test P, but they're back for version 4. I had all sorts of problems in version 3 trying to get a mouse to chase a cat. I couldn't even get distinct animals. But version 4 had no problem distinguishing the separate animals. The mouse may not always be chasing the cat, and the cat and mouse sometimes merge features, but there are two distinct creatures. 
I used the red horse prompt that I showed earlier as part of a multi-prompt with a tree and a barn. Multi-prompts let you weight different elements in your prompt more easily. If you want to learn more about multi-prompts, see my video, Multi-Prompts in Mid-Journey, Should You Use Them? I'll put a link in the description below. I'm not certain how well V4 is reading the weights, but it is separating the elements a bit better. There are a lot of parameters not yet supported by V4, and we'll take a look at these in a minute. If you've not explored parameters in Mid-Journey, see my video, A Quick Guide to Mid-Journey Prompt Parameters. I'll put a link in the description below. But version 4 does support the chaos parameter. Chaos is how random you want your results to be. Higher chaos values favors more interesting and unusual generations, but it, that's in exchange for less reliable compositions. Chaos ranges from 0 to 100. Here are some examples in V3 at chaos 0, 50, and 100, and then we'll rerun the prompt in V4. Before we move on, let's talk about upsampling or upscaling. This feature will change significantly in the upcoming weeks. Grids are twice the size in V4 as they were in V3. The V3 grids are 256 pixels by 256. The V4 grids are 512 by 512. This lets you see more of the detail in each image. The initial upscale in both V3 and V4 is 1024 pixels by 1024. From here, you have a few different options. In V3, you can upscale to the max, uplight, up beta, and remaster. In V4, you initially only have the option to uplight or up beta, but from here you can detail upscale and remaster. So while you can't directly use test and creative in V4, you can remaster once you've upscaled the V4 image. Look for upscaling options to change in the future. There's even talk of higher image resolution and detail. We've seen some of the main improvements in version 4, but this is a new test release and there are some features missing. Many of these will probably come back with a little time. When V4 was first released, Remix didn't work, but it was quickly added back into the version. If you haven't discovered Remix, see my video Remix, Mixing It Up With Mid Journey. I'll put a link in the description below. If you turn on Remix before you make variations, you can change or add to the description or change or add parameters. In this case, I added a color, turning the butterflies mostly blue. One popular parameter that doesn't yet work, but will probably be one of the first added back into V4, is the ability to change aspect ratios. Right now, you're limited to square one-to-one -one images. Other parameters that don't yet work are HD, Stylize, Test, Test P, and Creative, Image Weight, Same Seed, tile, and video. But version 4 does work with seed, no or the negative parameter, and quality. As it stands, there's a lot to be excited about in version 4, even without some of the popular controls like aspect ratio. The model is way more detailed and realistic, and it doesn't default to the standard orange and teal color palette. That it preferred before. And I will say that the portraits are nothing short of amazing. There are very few clues to give away that these are not real people. If anything, version 4 adds too much detail that doesn't feel like me. There's a fine line between me using the AI to make images and the AI making the images for me. Tossing Midjourney a random line from Lewis Carroll gave an entire cast of characters ready for their next adventure. This is thrilling on the surface, but I don't feel like I quite created these characters myself. And version 4 throws in a lot of extraneous text, even if you don't ask for it in your image. This is something the Midjourney team knows about and is working to correct. I got some amazing results using version 4, but there seems to be a sad girl hiding in the machine. She shows up even when it doesn't fit with the prompt. Prompts like wow and mind blowing don't seem to fit with a sad girl. Version 3 doesn't do this. The Mid Journey team is still working on the default styling, so while I think these sad images of girls are beautiful, it's a bit of a downer if this is part of the default. Version 4 isn't just twice as good as version 3, it's not even just 10 times as good as version 3. It's an AI image generation program like you've never seen before. And this is not the end. 
Version 4 is just the beginning of something deep and unfathomable. As version 4 changes, let us know your favorite features in the comments below. If this video was helpful, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. This is Janet making the photo. Let's make something amazing together.